Hey guys, welcome to Digit Dot and today we're going to take a look at the camera comparison between the iPhone 8 series of smartphones and the iPhone uh, 7 series. So let's get started. Now the iPhone 8 series promises two significant upgrades over the iPhone 7 series, the rear camera and the all new A11 Bionic chip that powers both devices. Uh, we took the new iPhones for a quick spin and compared their imaging capabilities with the iPhone 7 series. Before we begin, let us give you a quick rundown of the camera specifications. The iPhone 8 features a 12 megapixel rear camera with an f1.8 aperture. The iPhone 8 Plus comes with 12 megapixel wide angle and telephoto cameras. The wide angle lens has an f1.8 aperture and the telephoto lens has an f2.8 aperture with 2x optical zoom. Portrait mode and the new portrait lighting modes are also a part of the iPhone 8 Plus. Features like OIS, Quad LED, True Tone, Flash Live Photos and Auto HDR are common on all the phones. Let's begin with outdoor shots under the sun. We see that the images clicked by the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus consistently came out better in terms of color, contrast and details over the iPhone 7 series. The new Auto HDR mode which basically takes away the HDR option from the camera interface letting the ISP automatically evaluate the scene and make the decision for you does function as expected. Though you can get back the HDR control by turning Auto HDR off from the camera settings menu and we suggest that you do that. Talking about the low light shots, the noise control does show improvements. Though we also observe minor loss of details in certain shots, especially at the edges which came out softer due to heavy noise reduction. In our low light portrait mode test, the iPhone 7 Plus struggled to offer background separation while the iPhone 8 Plus managed to get it right at every single instance. In daylight portrait shots, we found the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 8 Plus taking almost extreme positions when it came to skin tones. The iPhone 7 Plus had an overly yellowish tone while the portrait shots from the iPhone 8 Plus had a hint of unnatural pink tone to them. Apple has now included portrait lighting mode in the camera app on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. You can edit your portrait shots using these five lighting modes, natural, studio, contour, stage light and stage light mono. So the final question is that do we really see a big improvement? Photography enthusiasts will surely notice the improvements across the board which sums up to offer a better overall rear camera. For the rest, the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus will offer major improvements in low-light scenarios. iPhone 7 users might not have enough incentive to upgrade to the iPhone 8. However, if you are using an iPhone 6 or 6S, the iPhone 8 will surely be a significant upgrade in the camera department. Also, we've just got going on a major camera comparison with all the flagship phones battling it out. So stay tuned for that video. Till then, tell us what you think of this comparison and don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching.